We've been riding a pretty good wave of positive data, and Rick Santelli has another eco data point for us. Rick? Yeah, this, this is going to redefine positive data this morning, Carl. All right, so our read on ISM, Institute for Supply Management Services Index for March, expecting a number around 59. 63.7, 63.7. I have a database that goes back 43 years to 1980. The highest on there is 1997 at 62.0. So this blows that away. Really good number. Now, let's look at factory orders for February. Uh, up, uh, We're expecting down 5 tenths. It ends up down 8 tenths. In the rear view mirror, slight revision to January. It's from 2.6 to 2.7. If we look at X transportation, it's down 6 tenths, about half as negative as we were expecting. In the rear view mirror, up 1.8. So there definitely is some give back here, and primarily because the Numbers for January were really quite powerful. Now, if we look at durable goods orders, we take the mid-month reads and toss them. So our Feb final now becomes minus 1.2 versus minus 1.1, uh, minus 0.9x transportation, which is equal to our mid-month read. And if we look at uh, capital goods orders, non-defense X are a proxy for business spending. It moves from 0.8 negative to minus 0.9 is our final read. And on orders, minus 1.1 versus the mid-month read, which was minus 1%. So, of course, all of these numbers are minus signs, uh, and primarily because the, they were strong with respect to January numbers. However, when we do look at that proxy for business spending, it really is awfully weak. As a matter of fact, we had January, which was up 0.6. And then, uh, if you look back, Prior to any of the COVID, we're also on the soft side. So this is a series of data points that COVID affected, but it certainly hasn't improved much post-COVID. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.